In this video, I'm going to show you how to locate and use the emergency jack in this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. On the back seat, on the passenger side, you want to raise up the seat just like that. You can locate the jack right here. You want to loosen this up. Just grab this wheel, and just spin it to the left counterclockwise. Once you loosen that up, you can push the jack forward a little bit and it'll slide right out. You have the wheel chocks attached to the jack. So you wanna loosen this wing nut up and separate those. Take that hook off. You can separate these. On the driver's side, we need to get the jack tools. So grab the back seat, lift it up. Jack tools are located right here. Now loosen up this wing nut. And slide the tools out. You can take this clamp off. You wanna make sure the vehicle is off and in park. We'll set the parking brake. And if your vehicle is four wheel drive, make sure the transfer case is not in neutral. You want it in two wheel drive or four wheel drive. You wanna make sure the vehicle is on as level ground as possible. You wanna use these wheel chocks on the complete opposite corner of the tire that you're changing. So if you're changing the driver's side front tire, you're going to use this on the passenger side rear tire and vice versa. You can pull the tools out of the bag. We're going to need this to go in there. And then these are the extensions. Now this jack is strictly for changing tires. This is not for raising the vehicle to work on the vehicle. So we're gonna place the jack for the front right on the frame, right in front of this little section where you can see the frame goes together. We'll find a nice location there, and then we can raise this up. Just twist it clockwise. Now before we raise the vehicle enough so that the tire's off the ground, you wanna take the tire iron and loosen up all the lug nuts. Don't take them off completely, but just loosen them so they're just on there slightly. And then you can raise the vehicle. Because if you don't loosen the lug nuts before the wheel is off the ground, you won't be able to loosen them. The tire is just gonna spin. Now you can see the wheel is off the ground. You can change the tire out real quick, put the spare on, and then start lowering the jack. Once the spare tire is touching the ground so it's not moving, then you want to tighten down the lug nuts with the tire iron. Then we can lower it down the rest of the way. And you can pull the jack out. Now you can take the wheel chucks off. Now if we're gonna do a rear wheel, we want to put these on the front on the opposite side, the same way that we did it on the back. Now take the jack and you want to go under the differential. So more towards the center on this side of the shock. You can see where the shock bracket is right there. And then we'll do the same. Raise this up a little bit before you get the tire off the ground. Loosen up the lug nuts. And now the tire's off the ground. You can change the tire and then put it back down. And pull the jack out. And remember to grab your wheel chucks from that other wheel. And we can t put these tools away. Just push down on the little pin and separate these. These can go back in the bag. And the tire iron. And put this clip on. Get this 
this lined up. Tighten down the wing nut. That's good there. I'm gonna put the seat down. I'm gonna take the hook. You're gonna go through right there. And this is just gonna attach right here. And we can tighten down this wing nut. Not too tight, just snug. Keep it from rattling around. Now line this up. There's a pin right here that wants to go in that hole and then same on the back side. Once that's good, then we can just tighten this up. And just get that snug. That's good. Wiggle it around. Now you can put the seat down and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.